Hey, what's up guys? I decided to do a, an old school hunt with the leftover nickels from our live stream tonight. We got 14 rolls here and uh, we did find, we actually had an ender out of this box. We had a uh, 1943 P war nickel and that's 35% silver. Let's see if we can find some other stuff in here. I'll try and make this as quick as possible. We'll go through it as fast as we can. Let's see if we can find something good here. We found quite a bit out of this box. Okay, first one, I don't really see anything. So I'm going to try and go as fast as I can so we're uh, not making this super long. I'm going to actually have to bend this down and get some light because I cannot see. There we go. Just not able to see those dates. All right, first roll, we got nothing. Get rid of those. Let's do another. Sorry about that light. I know it's blowing out those rolls. They're all super white. Anything really light color seems to blow out with the, with the, the lighting. All right, second roll. Oh, we got a Canadian right there, right off the bat. There's a little Canadian that is a 1996. We'll set them on the side there. Uh, just so you guys know, Canadians are 99% uh, nickel, definitely worth holding on to. I hold on to all my foreign coins, just because we have a foreign coin uh, jar, which is starting to fill up, actually. I need to get a new one, something bigger. All right, let's see what else we got in here. We're looking for 2009s. There's a really nice 82. Nothing there. Let's go on. Let's move on to the next one. I was hoping to get a buffalo out of this box. I'll take another silver. All right. Next roll. I'll even take a few foreign coins. That'd be cool. We've got a couple of uh, Canadians out of this box so far. All right. Do, do, do. Not seeing anything, but let me take a quick peek. See if we got anything. 63 is the oldest so far. But I don't keep them unless they are in the 50s. There's a 60. 1960. All right. And there's another 1960. Nothing else. Let's move along. Next roll. Come on, silver. Come on, buffalo. Take anything. Proof. Ooh, there was a dark one right there, but no dice. No silver. I thought it was going to be silver, possibly. All right, let's flip them. And so far, not seeing any. Nothing uh, Nothing crazy poking out at me, looking up out at me. Oh, there's something right there, I bet. 1954. There's a 1954, and that is an, a D. 1954D. Let's see if we got anything else in here real quick. We got quite a few. Uh, oh, here's another one. 1959. We got a 1959. I was just getting ready to say we had a 1939 come out of this box. And the 59s and the 39s, man, they, it's sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between one of those, the 5 and the 3, unless you look really close. So, all right, nothing else. That's two. Got two so far. This one. Alright. Come on, Buffalo. We got some in the, we got one in the 30s out of this box, so I wouldn't mind another one. And let's see what's that. There's a new buffalo. Alright. Yeah, I just thought I'd do an old school hunt. Uh, I don't ever get a chance to do those very often. And like I said, we had some extra rolls. I thought, meh, it gives me a chance to do it. All right, let's see here. 66. Give me something old. Give me something old. All right, nothing in that. Oops, what was that? Nope, that was a 66. Same one. All right, next roll. So I'm going to be going through these pretty fast, guys. I'll, I'll definitely, ooh, look at that. There's a dark one right there. Um, I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, and I'll re-go through them again. I like to look a little closer at them. 
when I get the time. Let's see, what is that? That's a 64. What was that dark one? Ah, uh, it's just somebody markered it, it looks like. It has a marker on it or something. It's hoping for silver. Uh, take a buffalo. Give me a buffalo. Or I'll take a new buffalo with the spearing going through it. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the speared buffalo is, you need to go back through my videos and look for... Look up the speared buffalo on YouTube. It will pop up. My video will, should pop up. Uh, it's an error coin, variety coin, and it is worth some big bucks, guys, if you can find it. Go check that out for sure. You do not want to throw back a, a speared buffalo after going through coins. And they're easy to spot. So, next one. What do we got? Ooh, oh, man. I don't know. That one had the look to it. I thought I had something good. Let's see. There might be an oldie in this one. I saw a couple that looked like it had. they had some wear. And just because they look new, guys, don't pass them up. You want to still take a peek and look at them because I found some oldies that looked brand spanking new and those are the coins you want to find you don't want to pass those up that's why take your time go through them look for those good looking coins look for full, uh, for full steps definitely want those full steps they're hard to find guys I still haven't found a full steps I found one with uh, what was it four steps even if you can even if you can find one with five steps that's great Five steps will still make you some money. Oh, there's another dark one. Let's see what we got. Did we get silver? Did we get silver? Uh, it's just dirty. It's a piece. It's one of the piece nickels. Okay. All right. We've got another piece nickel in there. I believe those are 2004. And there are some uh, errors on the or varieties on those piece nickels, I believe. I need to look into that a little bit more myself, honestly. I haven't been looking them, haven't been searching them. Maybe I'll pull them aside and search them here in a little bit. Let's see here. 63, there's a 70. All right, nothing in there. That dark one was a 2004. A couple more rolls left, guys. Looks like uh, six rolls, five more after this. Next roll. Quick search, quick search. Go, go, go. Come on, buffalo. We did not get a buffalo out of this box. That's not yet anyway. We still got a couple rolls where we might get one. You never know. Uh, let's see. There's another piece of nickel. There's a buffalo. We'll check that for spearing. The new buffalo. All right, let's see what we got. What do we got? 62. There's the buff new buffalo, but no spearing on it. That spear goes right through the buffalo, through its back, and all through, all the way down through the belly. So that's what you're looking for. Nothing in there. Five more rolls. Five more rolls, guys. So far, we've only got two and one Canadian. Give me something, give me something. Oh, this one might have something. That one looked old. This one looks old. Possibly, possibly. All right, let's flip these over. And then after this, I am going to the store. I'm going to go check that coin star while I'm there. Go back to the store where we found that Benjamin Franklin a couple nights ago, which was amazing. Nothing like finding a Benjamin Franklin in somebody's till. The 67. Both of those were in the 60s. Let's see. 95. 84. A couple 60s in this one. 64. A lot of 64s. Another 64. All right. Nothing. Man. This box has been rough on us ever since that, uh, that silver. We had the silver ender, which was amazing. That actually was given away to uh, one of the people that watch our stream, who was Vic Vicky. She goes by Vicky of the Fam. She actually won that today. Let's 
see what else we can find. You should, guys should join us for the uh, live streams. It's a lot of fun, guys. Ooh, there's an oldie for sure. That's going to be old. That's going to be old for sure. That's got to be 40s. It's got some wear. Maybe it'll be a 38. That'd be nice. All right. Let's see what this one was. 41. I knew it. 1941 Philadelphia. So we got a 41. One in the 40s. I'll take it. <laughs> 60s. A lot of 60s again. A lot of new ones. A lot of 64s. Which is to be expected. Three more rolls, guys. We're almost done. Go. Give us something good. Give us something good in these last rolls. Ooh, that one's dirty. I'll take another one in the 30s, please. Doesn't even have to be a buffalo. I'll take a 38. <laughs> 38S. Or a 50D. How about a 50D? That'd be amazing. All right, let's see. 64. A lot of 64s again. I always find a lot of 64s. There must be a... They must have minted quite a few of those. Nothing in there. Two more rolls. Quick, quick cunt here. As quick as I can go through them. All right. Ooh, we got another dark one. Come on, silver. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I thought that was going to be silver for sure. It's not. It was not silver. Sure looked like it was going to be, though. It had that look. That dark color that you love to see. All right, let's check this one out, and then we'll move on to that very last one. That was an 88, actually. It's just got a lot of real deep toning to it. All right. I see a 70S. 71. All right, guys, last roll. Last chance for something good. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, share. Post your comments down below. And let's see what we got. Come on, something good. Coin Karma. Need some coin karma right here, guys. Give us something. All right. Hmm. I think our coin karma was used up at the beginning of the box. It looks like maybe that one might be that one might be a 50s. It looked like a 59, possibly. Maybe it's a 39. Like I say, they're hard to distinguish sometimes when you're just not really close. Let's, it's a 59. Uh, 59 Denver. So we got another 50s. And guys, that looks like it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt today. Uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.